So, the conditions of war. You got uh, the smear campaign that has been going on for a very long time. And we've been uh, trying to unsmear black people for a very long time. So that's been going on. <clears throat> so that uh, increases tensions whenever you uh, allow all media to smear black people. And that's what happens. Uh, people go crazy. Uh, crazy people go crazier. Okay. So now the shooting in Texas. Who do you think taught these people to carry a gun? Was it you? I don't think so. I, I really don't think so. You didn't do it. None of you did it because you Christians say, turn the other cheek and and kill yourself if uh, somebody comes to harm you. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever type of lessons that you teach people, the law is done away with. And, uh, you know, Satan's the good guy and all kinds of madness you people do. But, uh, Whenever the uh, Dylan roof on fire, whenever the Dylan roof was on fire, right, and killed that senator, I made it a personal, uh, a personal crusade to teach you dummies that you better arm yourself while you're sitting in your church pews waiting to be assassinated. <laughs> And accepting all people, <laughs> because all people are <laughs> cherished by God in your in your imagination. <laughs> Boy, you funny. So, I mean, the the uh, campaigns I did was pretty much viral. Viral. I taught people. Uh, it reminded people that uh, Jesus Christ Himself told you to sell your purse and buy you a sword. So the modern day sword that is going to thrust through you uh, infidels, yeah, I purposely used a Islamic term uh, because you keep comparing us to Islamic people. So they're going to take care of you anyway. I don't know why you're studying us all your life. It's just irrelevant to to do so. Because God doesn't need our help at all. We need his help. <laughs> you think <laughs> you think God needs our help? You got it so backwards and so wrong. So we got to be obedient enough to uh be approved by God. This is what people leave out of that phrase. Study to show thyself approved. Then they close the book and go on a rant. The whole verse says, study to show thyself approved by God. A workman rightly <coughs> dividing the word of God. I paraphrased it on purpose. Okay. But it's, it is, in fact, a complete verse in the Bible that you guys skip every time. And you just say, study to show yourself approved. So, then you go on a rant saying, I am the approver. You got to be, you got to prove it to me. You got to prove that you are Israelite to me. Boy, stop. Ain't nobody finna do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now this uh dumbass dude here that decided to shoot up a church in in Texas. Boy, didn't you know don't don't fuck with Texas? Is it, boy, that, that that's one of the the grimiest gun states in America. I think it might have been a hoax. It might have been. This 
they mix the uh they mix the realness with hoaxes uh, uh what do you call them false flag you know kind of like the boston uh marathon that no one ever talks about anymore because they found out that it was a hoax and the orlando shooting at the gay nightclub that they found out was a hoax and the Sandy Hook shooting where no the FBI reported that there were absolutely zero deaths deaths. These are false flag attacks, active shooter trainings, hoaxes in order to smear people and to uh ramp up their anti Semitic rhetoric that neglects the true Semites, the true Israelites. And now, so the, how are the Israelites the target of anti-Semitic hate speech? How, how are we the target when we are the Israelites? We're the, we're the Semites. Okay. So we predicted this a long time ago. Uh, we were not told this in the Bible. We predicted it about five or six or seven years ago that the, you clowns, I mean, a long time ago, actually, but even before I said anything about it, people knew uh, why, uh, I believe his name is J. Edgar Hoover, created a program that focused solely on black people in order to be sure that black people never ever self-determined ever you see so it's the whole it's all uh the whole scheme of things is trying to prevent black people from self-determination black people in america particularly because uh we have a uh, ingrained sense of freedom uh, from growing up in this uh, demo republic or whatever you want to call it, whatever pseudo term you want to call it. <clears throat> That's what happened. We were uh, told, man, keep it funky with you, man. You don't understand how many people I have influenced. Okay? It, it, you see? You see? You don't even comprehend, and I don't. I don't comprehend either because I don't. Uh, I don't even keep try to. I don't even attempt to keep up with it, because the Most High is the person that's supposed to get the credit. However, you people run around like you thought of something. <laughs> what the fuck did you think of? Everything you do has been done seventeen trillion times before you. You people are dumb. So. I'm just saying that, you know, I'm going to start getting cocky around this bitch if you don't start putting some respect on my name. Okay, so as we discover here in this video, there's a man that pulled out a shoddy and uh, got shoddy. <laughs> He pulled out a shoddy in a man's face and got shoddy in his face. You, know, you got to look real close, though, of course. But, uh, I mean, can't get any bigger than what's on the screen. Shotgun comes out. Start up personnel. skipped many frames <laughs> you see they skipped the frame how do you have uh, a, a, a video going in your uh, church and then <laughs> release footage that skips frames why you don't want to you don't want people to see people get shot with a shotgun but it would validate your claim here that's what would happen. Your claim will be fully validated. 
However, if you take a very close look, it's not valid until you have two unc uncut shots. So you got three people, four people standing up in the back. You got one, two, three, four, five people standing up and then the shooter. Okay, so you got my man reaching and then the the uh the guy in the red shirt ducks for cover instantly and then the other two in the back what happened to them? Okay. Here's the you got the man anytime you got somebody's face near their ear, <laughs> that's a signal. <laughs> And you, you, anytime you got a man's uh, finger and hand near their ear, put, tugging on their ear or something like that, that's a motherfucking signal. Okay, so I don't know what this thing is Wake, doing. Dress, snack, no time, call. So I don't have time for the foolishness. Theme yeah. park, clock in, sip, email, Google, know. or email, sip, sip, is it lunchtime yet? Wow, it was there. This damn, this damn thing is getting confused because I got so, so many alerts came in at one time. They they figured out that I was awake and then started uh sending alerts all at at the same time. Okay, let's look here. All right, let's get back to the the feature film. Uh huh. It's inappropriate. Got it. All right. Now let's lift it back up and then do the count again. One, two, three, four, five people will be standing up with the shooter. Okay. The guy in the red sweater ducks for cover. The man second from the shooter starts reaching for his weapon with a jacket on. But. The actual shooter, you will see, is farther away once they skip frames. There's a guy reaching who didn't get shot now. Only the man beside him, quote unquote, dies, gets shot with a shotgun, close range. Okay, let's take a look at this. Hey man, you know why I get some water? Pull it out. Pull the shotgun out. Pull the shotgun out. Man starts reaching for his gun. Starts reaching for his gun. Uh huh. Shoot him. Shoot him. Skip the frame. Skip the frame again. There you go. Let's go back. Hey man, you know what? You know where I can find uh, a wife? Look, look, I'm asking you a question, brother. Where can I find a wife? Okay. I'm, I'm an Israelite, and I need a wife in a white church, <clears throat> okay? I'm in a white church, and I, I'm looking for an Israelite, repented, virgin wife, uh, preferably around the age of 21, 22. All right. Uh, the man starts pointing at the wife in the back. Point right there. There go the shotgun. Shotgun has been revealed. Big husky black dude in an all-white church. Okay. Now, let's go to, see, let's, let's look at the closer, let's take a closer look at the man with the signal, the signal man. See, he's not even concerned. He's looking the whole time. The two in the back are looking the whole time, and they're not even nearly concerned, even a little bit. How is that possible? You got everybody in the church is looking completely straight, directly straight forward. But if you look at the man sitting down, uh, one, two, three, four people away from the red sweater, man, he's looking all the way clear across the uh, church. Like, I wonder if anybody notices uh-huh, and look at this racist girl right up here in the very, very front of the screen in the blue shirt. She's been staring at the uh, black dude the whole church service. How? He's 
shouldn't even be in the church in the first place. He's an Israelite, remember? Big husky black dude that don't have no haircut at all. Ain't cut his hair in seven years. Looks really crazy. He looks suspicious. Okay? Now, let's back it up so you can take it frame by frame here. Let's take it frame by frame. So you can understand something. Hey man, where's the wife at? Oh, he's she's uh she's uh right over there. All you gotta do is look in that corner over there. She she be waiting on ya. Okay, now the same thing is that the man in the back that I said earlier from forth is still staring at people clear across the uh church to see if they're attentive to the active uh, shooter training. Everybody else is attentive to the speaker. The woman here, and the racist woman, is, is still looking clear across the room over there in the corner because they got to have a vantage point of everybody's reactions. So they're studying the reactions. All right, now, I'm going to go frame by frame. Okay. Oh, no, man. You got a gun. Don't kill me. I won't do it. Uh, I'm just going to stand here. I'm not going to fight you with a gun because you have a gun. Even though I'm so close to you, that all I have to do is spit in your eye and you'll drop the gun. I don't know how to fight. Okay, I hand that to I hand it to you. I don't know how to fight. And I'm scared. I'm a pussy. I don't know how to fight. So I'm gonna just let you pull a huge shotgun on me that is easy to control the barrel of. Okay? You can point it in the air, you can point it to the floor, you you know you can point it out the window. Uh, you can, when it comes to a barrel, any any uh, trained survivalist like a military personnel or a nigga from the streets <laughs> knows how to handle this situation in, in a quickity split in a flash. All you gotta do is get out of the front of the barrel like a dumbass <laughs> and push the barrel in any direction. And then you twist the barrel as hard as you possibly can, elbow the dude in the chin 15 times in a row, he's going to drop the gun. It's, it's, it's just automatic. You can't help yourself. Your, your muscle reactions are automatically going to uh, relinquish the weapon. You see? Frame by frame. Okay, now I'm standing up. Oh, shoot. That's my cue. I better pull my weapon. See, now he might not even be a part of uh, the, the the hoax. He might just be uh, a part of the hoax. What did I say that for? Uh, <coughs> of course he's a part of the hoax. That's why he's so close to the other shooter. You don't see anybody else in the church interested in the slightest bit. And I guess nobody else in the church has a gun. So the man with the gun, out of how many people are there? 200 people? In the audience, this man is directly next to the shooter with a gun. How? What? What a kawinky dinky. Uh, now calculate the odds of that, uh, Mr. Math Man. Mr. Math Genius, what are the odds of 200 people in one room and two people sitting uh, in extremely close proximity to each other, having weapons, not knowing each other? One is a mass murderer and one is the hero. Mr. Math Genius, what are the odds of that? Frame by frame. Okay, here we go back to the beginning. Yeah, man, the last time I seen your wife, she was right there 
in the back back there. What you say? In the back you talking about my, my wife's ass? Is that what you trying to say? You saying my wife got junk in her trunk? Is that what you trying to say? Listen here. Don't put your hands in there. You just getting ready to die. No shots. Okay, skip 7,000 frames. That's what you do. We're going to skip 7,000 frames to the man with no jacket on. No white shirt up under the jacket. We're going to skip all those frames from the man that was reaching for his weapon. And we're going to skip to a, a, a frame of a man alone firing at the active shooter. Thus saving the day. Gunman opened fire during communion in the West Freeway Church of Christ. Okay. So, that would mean standing at approximately six inches away from whomever he shot, uh, the person or would have to be sawed in half. Mm-hmm. Yep. The person would have to be sawed in half by the shotgun blast. So now, let's find out if that happened. Probably not. Uh, because they're going to do a little investigation. Everybody's going to forget about it and they're going to see the next shooting. But the point of this video is that the <coughs> frequency of the skirmishes and active shooting trainings and false flags and the frequency of that that the false flags i'm gonna tell you the purpose of the false flags the, the false flags cause copycats so that's what that's what they're trying to induce copycats you see the real the real shooters <coughs> you see so the false flags cause real shootings and, and and real bombings and stuff like that all right so they're trying to uh, ramp up the frequency of this for the purpose of uh getting everyone extremely paranoid and sad and then and, and um we must preemptively strike uh israelites uh in order to uh keep the safety of the country and you're gonna fall for it yeah, of course you always fall for it. Anything the media guides you into, the the, t the tail is wagging the dog. You see, the tail wags the dog in 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 the in the unconscious community, and that's how it goes. You see, so they're teaching you, uh, led by many many black people that teach you uh, to bang on Israelites and you bang on your own brothers. <coughs> you see. They teach you that. You learn it, and what you do is you, that's what you do. You do what they say. <laughs> you do what the media says. <laughs> so this guy has a gun out with no, no jacket on and no white shirt under the jacket and uh, becomes the hero of the day. The end of that, all right? And so you heard the purpose of this video. Uh, false flags are real. Hoaxes are real. Okay. And uh, real shootings are real. Real killings are real. So those things happen. People get shot and killed every day, B. You see? You just uh, are, are get being exposed to it. <laughs> yeah. You see? Police been uh, murdering uh, people. <laughs> right up under your nose. And the problem was... Before, you believed every word that they ever said. So now you see it on video it's everywhere constantly. And people still don't see them. <coughs> people completely ignore them. And say, oh, everybody's doing the right thing. <laughs> Everything is going as it should be. That's because uh, with, for the most part, you know, I can pretty much agree to that everything's going as it should be except for that you think that everything 
is going well because they are doing the right things and doing things intelligently. But see, their disobedience is causing plagues to come upon them, uh, generated by uh, the black royal family that controls this place, controls this, controls Earth. See, see. So, over the Church of Satan is uh, a, a mysterious, unknown uh, royal black family church uh, and political body that uh, actually has actual power, you see. And they tell everyone what to do. And it just trickles down to uh, the dummies, you see. That's how it works. See, the Most High is uh, living on earth. That's why Job was with uh, the sons of God in front of, uh, well, I mean, who was with? No, Satan was with the sons of God, Satan was with the sons of God in front of the Most High. Why? What? How, where? Where? Where was it located? Give me the location. Okay. Because if it was in heaven, then that could be true then, if it was in heaven. I'm, I'm not mad at that. That could be an actual situation. However, for some strange reason, I've always considered that that episode was shot on location in earth somewhere that could be somewhere uh as the location of uh that is highly protected by every country on the planet under the antarctic <coughs> agreement the long standing uh treaty of the world powers ever uh so you see because see God don't play no games we got a little trinket in the form of the ark of the covenant you don't remember the mantle that was given to Elijah that was just a little trinket you see and it caused many things to happen. The Ark of the Covenant caused many things to happen. So, with that type of power, you can't be uh, harmful like you people are. And you don't even know what harmful is. You don't know what harmless is. You don't know what the common good is. You don't know what the greater good is. You don't know how to judge. You are ratchet. You 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 don't do things properly. So you're not wel welcome into their society. Those little trinkets. <laughs> See, why are these people, the whole entire world powers, so afraid to uh, that they have to have the longest standing world power uh, treaty? approximately ever to protect Antarctica why the reason being you people are too ratchet to join the the uh, the society of Elohim you're too ratchet you don't care about anything nothing matters to you you just go on about your life and do what you do you see? Who wants you around? Who wants to be around you? No one. No one wants to be around you. You see? Now why in the world would God want to be around you? Even rat other ratchet humans don't want to be around you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you figure that out on your own time. I'm just here to make you understand wisdom <laughs> i need to i need to put that on i need to do a, some branding <laughs> i need to i need to do some branding for my channel i'm just here to make you understand wisdom <laughs> how about that <laughs> yeah yeah shout out to the to the altar to this one i appreciate you teaching these people that uh that they uh 
were here in America for a long time. It's just that you, you don't teach uh, uh, completely. Like, is you need to be trained by an Israelite fully, you see. And so I appreciate you taking um, my uh, lessons and remixing them and, and being motivated to travel the country and find out the information for yourself. You know, after I reported Israel Hill, everybody went down Israel Hill to check out the plaque for themselves. Well, of course, everybody else, uh, everybody in the uh, Israelite community started reporting it after that. But uh, I'm just saying, you know, it's very important for the information to get out. And if that causes uh, a brand or a style of teaching or uh, enough for people to comprehend, you know, then the autochthonous ones are friends of mine. If you see, the books, the book doesn't say, okay, this is what the colloquialism says. This is another thing that happens. There are hundreds of colloquialisms that people misquote from the Bible. For example, uh, uh, money is the root of all evil. Okay, so the true understanding is that greed is the root of all evil. So now there's another uh, quote that says that you are, are all gods. And then so uh, people take that and run with it. You are all gods. But the full verse says that you will die like princes, if you, you know what I'm saying, if you don't uh, keep the law, statutes, commandments, and the prophecies. You know what I'm saying? So the information about the autogenous ones is incomplete. They don't realize when they traveled to this land, Arcerith, and they don't even call it Arcerith, you see? And they call it uh, probably Turtle Island and, and America after a city. <laughs> and they named the whole continents after a city in uh in Mexico, so that you know, that's confusing your 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 parishioners, uh, but it don't confuse me. I, the obviously, I'm the very elect. I can't be a few. See, the book says that if it were possible, you would fool the very elect. I can't be fooled. Uh, what for wrong with you? How can I be fooled? Who else has seen Jesus Christ face to face? Name one dude, name one Israelite, name one uh, uh, autochthonous brother, name one Abbo. Who, which one of y'all? See, you people don't even believe in Jesus. So why you got a Jesus piece, you see what I'm saying? You see, I seen one Israelite uh, Abbo, and he taught all you people. <laughs> he, he got uh, that boy that's here to make you think, beat. He got the, he's the one that got the information that t that's, that's showing you people what you need to know. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta understand that you people got here in 750 ish BC or six yeah 750 ish BC. <laughs> you see? And during the uh, Assyrian captivity, you escaped the Assyrian captivity and went uh, and, tr and 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 sailed east. Over the waters, <clears throat> the Most High stilled the waters so that you won't be washed away till you reach the land of the cedars. That's what Osiris means. The the land of the cedars. <clears throat> so that's how it goes, bro. So when you landed in uh, California before it was called California back in 750 BC, you saw ginormous cedar uh, cedar trees, and you called the land Osiris. Oh, uh, you see? That's how it works. <sighs> All right. You guys need to figure this stuff out and get your training together because you really don't know what you think you know. But, uh, you know, I I just might have to brand uh, the information so that it's all fancy and uh, get shared by everyone. You see? When it's when it's fancy, and it gets edited properly, everybody shares the information because no one has patience enough to pay attention and learn. You see, to lectures. You see, 
I don't even like lectures. I like convos. But, you know, I'm on my phone. I don't feel like... <laughs>